my name is Jill Barry Bowen, CEO of Northwestern Medical Center and your host of the NMC Health Beat Show, dedicated to discussing important healthcare topics of interest to our community. Today, I'm joined by Candace Collins. She is the Director of Primary Care at Northwestern Medical Center, and we're gonna be talking about new providers that we're welcoming this summer and fall. So this is exciting. Yes, very exciting. So thank you so much for being here. Oh, well, thank you for having me. I always like to come and talk about primary care. <laughs> yes, of course. So maybe just for our audience, just to, to introduce yourself. I know you've been here before, but uh, let's refresh. So I'm Candace Collins, and I'm the Director of Primary Care here at Northwestern Medical Center. And I've been in this position for about two years. Um, and I'm one of the managers, I'm on the management team overseeing primary care. Um, I have about 25 years of experience managing practices in primary care. Uh -huh. um, I did a stint as the Blueprint Project Manager here in this mm -hmm. community, and that's um, Vermont's healthcare reform project for primary care. So I did that for four years. Um, so I'm really interested in helping primary care implement the patient-centered medical home model, which is a new model of primary care that we can talk about. Um, and I'd love to explain how our new providers fit into that. Fantastic. So what we'll do, we'll start off with the providers that are coming um, to the locations and then hopefully we'll have time we can talk a little bit about so what is this, uh, this model, which is uh, pretty cool. So, all right, so let's start off with um, Northwestern Georgia Health Center. Yep. And what do you anticipate? Who's coming? So we have Allison Mack, who is a board certified family nurse practitioner, and she started in July. And she comes to us from Simmons College, where she just finished her training, um, actually last year. Uh, she's got over 10 years of experience nice. in nursing. Um, most of it was in labor and delivery and as a surgical nurse. Mm -hmm. um, she completed her training and she did a lot of her rotations at UVM. So she knows the area well, born and raised in Vermont. Um, and she lives in the Burlington area <clears throat> with her young family. So she brings a lot of energy and um, she's a real go-getter. She's gonna solve everyone's healthcare problems. <laughs> um, oh, I love that <laughs> attitude. <laughs> and then the next um, physician that we have starting in September is Dr. Chester Arison. And he's a board certified family physician. And he completed his training at University of Vermont in medical school. And then he did his residency out in Colorado, at Denver, Col Colorado. Mm -hmm. And so he finished about a year and a half ago. So he comes to us having spent some time working out in Denver. Great. And um, he's a full spectrum family physician. He sees all ages from birth through end of life. And um, he's very focused on prevention, um, screening and managing chronic diseases and then helping people at end of life um, make the choices they need to make. Um, he's moving to Burlington um, this fall. Um, his wife is also a physician, so oh. medical family. Mm -hmm. And um, we're very excited to have him join because he brings a lot of energy. He seems like a really smart and caring guy. Mm -hmm. um, I think that people are really gonna enjoy working with him too. Nice, nice. Now, so this is in Georgia. So uh, tell me a little bit about the team there. and Maybe how do we get an appointment with, with these new folks? So. Uh, we just call up the Georgia Health Center. Mm -hmm. um, in, um, you can call right now for Allison Mack. She's accepting new patients. Okay. And then Dr. Arison will be arriving uh, near the end of September. He'll be accepting new patients. Okay. And um, just say that you want to schedule an appointment with one of our new providers. Okay. And the front desk would love to explain, uh, you know, who we've got. And um, people can make their choice right there on the phone. Um, the other team is a long time team. Um, we have Dr. Carol Thayer and Dr. Miriam Sturgis who have been working in Franklin County as in family mm -hmm. practice for about 25 years. Um, and then we have uh, David Spence who is a physician assistant and he's been in our community for almost 20 years. Wow. Um, and then Sarah De Silvi has been working in our, in our practice for about seven years. And she has a special interest in pediatrics. Um, they're all family practitioners, so they see all ages from birth through end of life. Nice. Nice compliment yeah. that you've got going on there. Yeah. That's great. That's great. 
Well, let's talk about um, uh, St. Albans and Northwestern Primary Care. So do you have changes there as well? Yes. We have three new physicians joining Northwestern wow. Primary Care. So we start with, um, we're lucky to be working with Erica Monfred, who is an, um, an internal medicine physician who just completed her training at UVM. Um, so she's been living here for several years. Um, her partner is also a physician and um, we're, we're really excited to have her join the team. Um, she provides primary care to uh, ages 15 and above. Um, internal medicine physicians really specialize on um, prevention and chronic disease management in adults. Okay. Um, and um, they tend to have a lot of training in geriatrics. So Beautiful. she's going to be a great addition to our team. Um, then we have, uh, starting in October, Dr. Judy Fingerguts joining us, mm. and she's a, a very experienced family physician. She comes to us from an academic um, residency program where she's been a professor and an assistant wow. um, residency director and she's got over 20 years of experience um, full spectrum family practice so all ages from birth through end of life mm -hmm. um, she is going to be joining our team as a medical director so we're very excited to have her join our team and bring her experience to really help us improve the way we deliver care. Mm -hmm. And I think that patients will really enjoy working with her and all of her experience. And again, nice. all ages are welcome. Right. Um, then the third physician who's joining us is Dr. Leah Hillier. And she's a board certified family physician with a specialty in sports medicine. Wow. So she is coming from Canada where she did her training at University of Toronto and we're very excited to have her join our team and we're also going to be working with Northwestern Orthopedics because um, Dr. Hillier, Dr. Hillier is going to be working in both locations. Um, it's not like they're going to be in separate places because in the new medical office yes. building we're all sharing space. So primary care and ortho are going to be in there with the lab and urgent care and we're nice. trying to create an integrated experience for, for patients so that depending on what your problem is there will be a series of warm handoffs and everything's right there. It won't be you know chopped up the way we like to do things in healthcare sometimes <laughs> which we're trying to get away from. Um, so Dr. Hillier, with her sports medicine um, experience, will be able to help us run sports clinics. And, and sports medicine is really that part of orthopedics that doesn't require surgery. So it's medically managed through exercise and movement, physical therapy. Um, and she has a specialty. She has a special interest in concussion management, oh. which is really important because um, Northwestern Orthopedics. Uh, works with most of our schools and their athletic programs and we had over we had almost 30 concussions last year oh my so it's going to be really great to bring a specialist um, who can really help uh, athletes that are managing concussions get back on their feet uh, with without any long-term damage so we're very excited to have this team joining us in in St. Albans Nice. And so, and contacting, uh, oh, oh, maybe we should, who else is on that team? Uh, just like we did for Georgia, you must have some providers there now. Yes. So we who have, are they joining? So we're, we've got Dr. S David Simcoe, mm -hmm. who is a board certified family physician, and he's a doctor of osteopathy. So he's a DO, and um, he's able to perform, he's, he provides the full spectrum of family practice all ages mm -hmm. and he also can do osteopathic manipulation treatments nice. which is a, a very hands-on form of diagnosing and treating ailments everything from sinus infections through pain management um, and it's through a series of manipulations of muscles and and um, and so this is something that he does it's a it's a, a specialty that DOs provide mm -hmm. um, and he's a longtime physician he's been with our our group for about four years now nice. um, and then we have Stacy Bouchard who's a family nurse practitioner and uh, we have uh, Molly Somaini who's a, a physician assistant and she sees ages 15 and above um, and then last year we had Jack Visco, a, a family physician, join our team, and he sees all ages, uh, so the full spectrum family practice as well. Wow. 
So it's really uh, wonderful, uh, the, the compliment that is coming together. It's really, it's not, it seems like they have their expertise and together they really make a comprehensive team. Yes, that's what we're trying to do is create that entryway into the healthcare system through primary care mm -hmm. um, where a lot of, con you know, most conditions can be managed. Um, and then primary care physicians can also refer any individuals and families to specialty care mm -hmm. or um, acute care treatment um, depending on their needs and then they can coordinate that care. And that's sort of what the patient-centered medical home model is all about. Yeah, talk a little bit about that. So this model asks primary care to do enhanced primary care and it's much more about coordinating that care. So everything from health risk assessment, assessing everyone's health risks mm -hmm. and addressing behaviors that contribute to healthy lifestyles like diet and exercise. Um, <laughs> and um, diet and exercise is actually the prescription for almost everything. Yes. And so um, that's always on the top of the list. It's a very low cost mm -hmm. and um, easy intervention. Mm -hmm. um, it's easy to get out and walk. Mm -hmm. um, and just cut back um, and so that's what we help people identify plans to prevent conditions and mm -hmm. also manage chronic conditions using other modalities as well as medications um, and then for people that need a higher level of care we'll make sure that they go to the right parts of the healthcare system and get the, the specialty care they need and then coordinate it all back at the medical home. So we're very excited about having um, Dr. Fingergut join us as a medical mm -hmm. director um, because what we're really looking for is that physician leadership um, to help us evolve that model. Um, you know, I'm the business manager, we have a nurse pra practice manager, and so we'll be bringing in physician input to make sure that it's physician guided, physician led mm -hmm. care. Um, that we think will lead to a very um, high quality, high value experience for patients. Yeah, well said, that's so nice. <laughs> so can you describe uh, primary care in this patient-centered medical home? How does, it, how does it connect to the rest of the community? Um, others like services and providers, how, how, do you, how do we map that out? Well, usually what happens is when people call up, um, usually with a problem, Mm -hmm. um, the primary care provider will see them and par as part of a team with a nurse or medical assistant and maybe a, a nurse care manager and perhaps our integrated mental health counselor, okay. um, the provider, the nurse practitioner, physician assistant or physician will meet with the patient and really you know, get a, a comprehensive history, you know, what's been going on, what's in your family history, and then what's going on today, you know, what do you want to take on, what do you want to address, and mm -hmm. really help patients create a plan nice. that um, enables them to either prevent any chronic conditions or serious illness, mm -hmm. and then if they are managing chronic conditions, help to maintain that that uh, management of their chronic conditions. And we all know that it's the patient who has to do all the work. Yeah. So we like to think that the patient-centered medical home team serves as that consultant team nice. for the patient mm -hmm. and their family. So um, usually people come in with one thing and that will be addressed and um, they can come in with a long list of things and we'll address that over a series of visits mm -hmm. or you can come in just looking to prevent can, any illness and, and just do wellness visits on a regular basis. Um, and depending on your age and gender, the primary care team can let you know how often you should get screening mm -hmm. done. So it's, uh, we like to be the first point of contact or that, that base for all patients and their families. And it's so important that people think, well, I feel well, so I don't need to go to a doctor, but you really want folks to get that wellness visit to prevent them from something brewing and uh, creeping up on them. You know, as we work and we spend more and more time working and less time exercising and as we yeah. age and as life, you know, changes and, and we have stressors in our lives, it's a good idea to just check in and, you know, just there's some simple tests we can do. They can be blood tests, they can be mammograms, colonoscopies. You know, just to make sure that anything that's preventable can be caught early. Because when you catch it early, 
it's, it's actually easier to treat um, and the outcomes are better as well as it's lower cost. So it's really much better for people to just keep up. Um, you know, everyone has something that they want to take on, whether it's a diet or an exercise plan and, and your primary care team can help you set goals, um, manage your progress, um, connect you with other teams like our Rise Vermont team or our lifestyle medicine team at Northwestern Medical Center um, to help with you know managing diet change and mm -hmm. set up exercise programs. The lifestyle medicine programs are a little more comprehensive than what primary care can provide. Mm -hmm. So for someone who's really serious about that and wants to really take it on and, mm -hmm. and wants support, that's a really good option and primary care can connect you or your family with, with those types of services. Um, and you know, even as serious conditions develop and as we get near end of life, um, primary care can help a family make choices about end of life care, um, be it staying at home and staying as independent and healthy as, as long as possible to facilitating the transition into a skilled nursing facility and maybe even connecting with the hospice team to really you know, control um, pain and suffering at the end of life. Um, so there's all options. These are really experts in all the options in healthcare. Wow. So you think of primary care, they really help you navigate your, your life, your journey, your health journey. Yep. I would yeah. say wherever you are in your journey, there's probably something a primary care provider can help you with. Yeah, that's great. Well, our time has flown, but uh, thank you so much. I'm excited to have all of these new providers come. And having met them, they bring, like you said, a, a new energy. Yes. And the expertise um, is fantastic to complement your existing team. So yes. the community is definitely well served by these providers and the other providers, certainly that provide through their private practices or, or other through Notch or what have you. Yes. So this community is well served in access to primary care with these new additions. Yes, it'll definitely improve access and make it easier to get in to see a doctor. Yeah, great. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. You're welcome. And I know you'll be back because yes. you'll have more stories to tell Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm Jill Bray Boyne, CEO of Northwestern Medical Center and your host of HealthBeat. And it's so important for everybody to have a primary care provider to help guide you through your wellness journey because we want to keep you healthy from birth until death. That's, that's what we love doing and I know it's Candace's passion um, as well. So thank you for joining us today. Mm -hmm.